If you have trouble chewing, have pain or tenderness in your face, or hear a clicking mm. or popping sound in your jaw, you may be suffering from TMJ. Well, here to tell us more is Dr. John Nell and Dr. Eric Ryder with Carolina Center for Oral and Facial Surgery. Welcome to the show. Great topic. Thanks, guys. Indeed. Yeah, good morning to both of you. We're glad you're here today. All right, Dr. Nell, let's start with you. What exactly is TMJ? You know, TMJ is actually just short for temporomandibular joint, which is essentially the name of the hinge joint of the jaw. Okay. You know, commonly people um, use the phrase TMJ to refer to a collection of symptoms involving not only the jaw but also the muscles of the face, neck, and head. Okay. Um, uh, those symptoms sort of yes. uh, are related to a, a dysfunction of some sort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, what would be some of the symptoms that I would experience to have TMJ? Well, pain is, is a common one mm. and obviously uh, you can have a generalized pain where the whole face hurts or it can be isolated to the muscles or the actual the joint itself. Uh, sometimes it'll radiate to the ear, the temple. A frequent complaint is headaches. Um, and then a variety of noises, uh, clicking, popping, grinding, um, changes in a patient's bite, and uh, also um, where the jaw can lock, either opened, where they can't get their teeth mm -hmm. to contact, or even closed, where they can't open as wide as they used to. And then the teeth can take damage too, where they're breaking teeth or, or they're grinding them down. And initially, a lot of these symptoms actually aren't even painful. Hmm. At what point should someone come and see you? Well, you know, the short answer is the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. You know, if um, you know that you grind your teeth or you clench your teeth, whether it's at night or during the day, you know, we might be able to make something simple like a, a mouth appliance to prevent some of the long-term damage. You know, if you're already symptomatic, well, again, uh, the sooner we can evaluate you and treat you, uh, the less likely you're going to have long-term problems, and of course, the sooner you're going to feel better. And it doesn't necessarily have to be all of the symptoms you mentioned, right? Can it be just a combination of a couple of them? Let's say you, you get headaches and uh, it hurts a little bit. It might be a good time to come in and see you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so what type of treatment do you offer, too? Because I've had that pain, that little piercing pain, and that was painful. I never want to have that again. So what do you, what do you offer? Um, well, the treatments, you know, we're, we're surgeons, and the reality is very few patients actually ever require surgery. Um, we see a tremendous benefit with our patients with simple, um, minimally invasive or non-invasive treatments, you know, like Dr. Nail stated, a splint or a mouth guard, uh, a device you'll wear uh, okay. to take pressure off the, the joint but also helps those muscles relax, um, short courses of medications at times. Uh, injections, whether it be a local anesthetic or a steroid combination, or even Botox. Um, physical therapy, uh, giving a patient a regimen at home exercises, and then education. We spend a lot of time uh, looking at patients' uh, habits or um, things that they do and modifying those habits. Um, now, that small percentage of patients that don't see the benefit uh, may require surgery. Okay, yes. Yeah. So let's say a patient does not benefit from those treatments you mentioned and you d surgery is needed. Can you talk about the types of surgeries you perform for patients who have TMJ? Of course. So most of what we do is minimally invasive and it can be as simple as just flushing the joint out, injecting some steroids. Um, just like patients sometimes need arthroscopy on their knee, we can actually perform arthroscopic surgery on the jaw joint. Um, you know, occasionally uh, symptoms of, uh, are due to a bad bite and we might have to do jaw corrective surgery uh, and then other times you know patients have degenerative joint disease or really severe arthritis and um, just like sometimes that can lead to someone needing an artificial hip or knee we can do jaw joint replacement surgery as well thank you so much great uh, information if you'd like to learn more call the carolina center for oral and facial surgery the number is 704-716 9840. I'll say it again, 704-716-9840. And you can also visit mycenters.com. That's the website to go to, mycenters.com. I think mm -hmm. I have TMJ. I, I had it for that's I have, a, I have a lot of those problems. Mm. You had TMJ? Yeah, that's uh, painful. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I might be making memory. an appointment. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks we for appreciate having us. It. Really appreciate